resident dog meat. How you doing? Today guys we're not going to be adding to my personal collection of Fallout stuff which is pretty much why I would work and accidentally learned it. I mean even my whiteboard has some Voltec action on it. But today we're going to make in the real dog meat and a little Volt Boy too. Dog meat over here through a projector on a white piece of plywood and I'm stenciled the Volt Boy too so you can see the lines. I pre-drilled the holes for us to cut the interior bits. This will be just painted on. I don't think I want to make any cuts through. I can do the red right here, but I think it'll be better straight up. It's a lovely morning outside, so let's go ahead and chop it up. That nice and clean so now we're gonna dremel it out so we have our paint guides sand it and paint it it looks pretty much the same but there's little divots everywhere so now we can take this apart I put the cut little brackets out here and the little Painter hook. Let's go send it and start laying down some paint. The next step, normally I spray everything from the back. Oop, I missed the spot. But the weather's spoiling and it's been thundering. And looks like I'll start having the Florida summertime rain any second now. So I just sprayed everything real quick and I'll videotape all the all the laying down of the color next because that's the fun part. This is just black spray paint, red spray paint, we're done. So this marker thing, it looks kind of okay in some areas, but I think I don't really like how glossy it is and it's all getting like a really weird like crackly pattern and so forth. So I think I'm going to go ahead and just brush everything on and it looks even worse on the, I'll show you like at the corner of at the corner right there uh, on the dogging, but it's coming out great overall. So it's looking gloomy anyways. And then hurricane's supposed to come by in a couple of days. Uh, probably a tropical storm, realistically. So we'll just go ahead and sit and paint, and then from here we'll go ahead and. All right, so here we go. It's all finished. It came out great. Socrates is right here posing. He's an old boy now. He's like 11 and a half, and he's been. You haven't seen him as much as videos. He's not doing quite as well. He can't swim no more, but he can in the life jacket. So maybe we'll put that in the end of the video. But came out great. I painted everything with the hand brush just because I wasn't happy with the black marker paint. I dry brushed some stuff slightly. You can see like some edges are slightly darkened but very light. The background there, the red background, I did scrub it against my painting table and so and then resprayed it above it. So this way it has a little bit of a texture. I can't really see it much in the bright sun but there's slight streaks of like dark paint. All right, like, let's get out of the sun. Come on. Even though he will lay outside until he's like dying and then go inside and then as soon as he cool again gotta go back outside again and he's always blocking all the doorways and stuff like that as proper dog, dog meat shoot. Alright come on bud. Alright so I wasn't happy it was too much sun in the driveway not that there's any sun out now because we got tropical storm Elsa coming outside of where I'm at it's hitting Tampa area or oh, hurricane Elsa actually right now so but it's been raining kind of non-stop, really windy. 
So I even parked the Montero in the garage for normally it's been outside, but fortunately it was kind of smart timing on my end because I had that big branch fall just down there and I parked the Montero usually just a few feet over. So that would have not been great and so I had some branch. See now without glare, only the goggles are very reflective because it's that blue metallic paint, that very very kind of light blue. And so it's very reflective, we can see, especially if we start going at an angle, kind of the differences between, uh, I guess you can't really tell here, but this one is metallic gold paint and this one is metallic blue paint. So I love how it comes out because it changes its color based on where yet. Let's drag it inside a little more and so we can see as soon as it's inside it starts turning a little more yellow. So, love doing it and I've been cording bottle caps for a long time now and so I, whenever I'm outside I hoarded a few and so they've been sitting on them for a little while and so finally I have something to put it in and since I forgot to put it in the video when I was shooting it over there, finally we can do a thumbnail shot for here because the thumbnails I took with sock for over there came out atrocious, way too much glare and I can photoshop Rivers dog, dog meat's face over it, but it, why just why not take a new shot? Plus, the plan was to send both of these to Bethesda. I even had the box made and everything. Look how pretty that came out with my stencil. Not intentional weathering. It just because the cardboard absorbs so much paint. I sprayed blue first and yellow, kind of a light coat, and so it's already looking just right, like it's straight out of the 1950s. But we're gonna send, I sent an email to Joel Burgess because I decided to actually do some research for once and so he's a developer but not working for Bethesda anymore. So while I'm gone for a few days in probably North Carolina, maybe Tennessee, maybe North Georgia, if he responds I'll send this one to him and this one to Bethesda. If he doesn't I'll ship both to Bethesda and then those guys can figure it out from there. But anyways, thanks you guys for watching, great success and if, and if you want to make some for yourself then just watch some of my other videos or if you got any questions let me know and we'll go from there. See you next time. His favorite thing, the bowl. So let's throw it in. Gotta do a warm up lap. So yeah, one of his back legs is pretty much doesn't really work that well anymore. But in the jacket he can still swim, which is pretty much his favorite thing. Alright, and I'll see you guys next time. Let me know what we should build. Thumbs up. There's the bold boy. So, yeah. Alright, what's up buddy? Come here. Come here. Yeah, listens as well as dog meat does. Hey, don't go outside with it. Come on. Give. Sit.